Okay, today I'm going to be doing a um, basic supplies for sewing 10-part series. This is part one in the series. It's called hand sewing supplies. Okay, let's begin. So this needle in my hand is called a sharps. It's an all-purpose, medium-length needle used for general sewing. I, I know you can hardly see this, but this is what it looks like. It's a long needle. Alright, let me take you to the next needle. Hold on. This one, I don't know if you can see it, it's called a uh, crew. They're uh, generally used for embroidery. They are sharp and medium length. Alright, let me take you to the next needle. This one, I don't know if you can see that too well, is a uh, ballpoint needle. Uh, they are used on knits. Um, instead of sharp point, which may pierce the fabric, the rounded end pushes the knit loops apart. So that's a ballpoint. Um, this next one is... Hold on... This one is called uh, Betweens. They are very short and round-eyed. They are also used to help make fine stitches or for quilting. Okay, let me take you to the next one. This one is a Miller. Uh, it's a thick needle and I don't know if you can see this too well. It has a, a big eye right here. Um, needles are long with round eyes used for making long basting or gathering stitches. Alright, that's the end of our hand sewing needles. Now let's go on to um, pins. Alright, I don't know if you can see this too well. Sorry. This is called a silk pin. Uh, you can use these for uh, lightweight to medium fabrics. They're usually about the size of seven. I don't know if you can see this too well. Sorry for the bad footage. This one is called a uh, straight. Pins are either brass or steel or stainless steel and they're usually for general sewing. Now you also use these pins for um, uh, uh, sewing machine too. Alright, this one is a uh, quilting pin. They're usually about three-fourths long and they're used for like uh, heavy materials like your um, quilts like it says and probably like, um, oh, what was it called, jean material and they're very long. Alright, uh, next pin is... Um, a ballpoint uh, pin. This is a little thinner in metal than the uh, quilting one. And um, these ones are for uh, knits just like our, um, our uh, sewing needles that were for knits. Alright, uh, next one. This is uh, a thimble. They're normally worn on the uh, middle finger, um, but I like them on my thumb. Um, they're to protect your finger while uh, sewing, so you don't act. Okay, so the thimble is there to pr uh, protect your thumb. They come in plastic, metal, and different sizes for your fingers. All right, let me take you to the next um, one. And surely, but not least, this is a uh, threader for, uh, so you can, so it's easier for you to uh, thread your hand, th your needles, and your uh, sewing machine needles. Okay, let me so I'm going to show you how to uh, thread your needle with this, alright? So you're going to get some thread, and I'll take show you that in a second. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to insert the tip 
of the threader into the hole or the eye of your needle. Okay, so it's in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slide your thread into the hole of your needle threader. Hold on a second. So your thread is in there. I know you can hardly see it. So then you're going to pull your needle and you're going to pull out and then your needle is threaded. Okay? So I hope you uh, get your hand sewing supplies. The next uh, group in part two of our series is called um, marking tools. So I'll tell you all the marking tools. All right. Thanks for uh, watching this video. Subscribe, like, comment. All right. Bye.